I've been trying my best not to think about you But you're stuck in my mind I've been hypnotized by you hey, All the suffering and pain got me feeling so blue Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It is your girl Makeup by Amani or as you can see by the new name on YouTube, it is Everything Moni. So I am coming to you with a new um, updated makeup tutorial on my skin. I haven't been in front of the camera like in a really long time. So um, I'm not going to do too much talking because I have somewhere to be and I only have like an hour to do my makeup. Yeah. I only have an hour to do my makeup so I'm just gonna show y'all what I normally do um so I already cleaned up my face and did my eyebrows so this little patch over here is like um milk of magnesia because I have started well I don't say I have started back using milk of magnesia but I have been using milk of magnesia with my past few makeup applications on myself um I only use it on clients if requested so yeah and i'm trying a new foundation today i am trying the infallible um the l'oreal infallible foundation in the shade 535 so we're just gonna see this is my very first time wearing it i got somewhere to go so hopefully it turns out really good so y'all i said i wasn't gonna do a lot of talking but i just had to come and do a voiceover because i really want to explain to y'all what i'm doing so I have my foundation on this brush and I'm just spreading that foundation out all over my face and then I'm going to go in with a bigger brush, a foundation brush and I am going to wet it just a little bit with some setting spray and I'm going to start patting that all over my face. looks like I'm rushing to do my makeup and it's because I am I only had like an hour to get my makeup done before my next client come and then I had to go to my photo shoot by five o'clock and I believe around this time was like 2 30 or whatever and my client came at like 3 30 so I needed to get myself together So for concealer, I use Born This Way concealer. Um, I'll have listed in the description the shades that I use, but I know for sure this one is Toffee. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna highlight up under my eyes. And I'm, I think I'm gonna go in with about three concealers because I love a bright under eye. Before I blended out this concealer, I let it sit for at least a minute so the coverage can build and it blends out like way better on my skin. Look at that blend y'all, look at the difference, like it looks so good. I'm also going to go back in with my foundation brush to be sure that it blends out seamlessly and flawlessly so that way we don't have to worry about any um, lines of demarcation. We definitely don't want that.
want to say it is warm sand and I'm just putting that like in the inner corner and then on the outer corner of my eyes and then I'm going to take another concealer and I believe this one is sand and I'm going to put it like in the middle to brighten up. And I'm going to use my fan this time to help dry down the concealer a little bit so whenever I start blending the coverage is really nice and full and also the concealer doesn't go everywhere because you know when you first put concealer on your face it kind of blends everywhere. I only want this to go like under my eyes and kind of out past my eyes just a little bit. I don't want it to go anywhere else. So yeah. this born this way concealer because when it blends it doesn't blend like it doesn't blend really full to where the concealer looks caked up under your eyes like it just sets into your skin so beautifully yeah I love it I definitely have to get more shades of this concealer it is my favorite and I'm going back in with the foundation brush because like I said I want everything to be blended evenly and really nice so I had no time to wet my beauty blender so that I can set up under my eyes so I was like yeah let's just grab a brush and do it and it worked pretty good um it didn't leave my eye under my eyes looking super powdery and all of that stuff I feel like it just set whatever needed to be set like it was the right amount of powder to set up under my eyes I know I'm looking real ashy and scary but I promise you it's gonna get better so just keep watching and be sure that y'all subscribe to my channel be sure you leave me a comment let me know what you like best or let me know something that you learned um cuz yeah y'all comments y'all likes y'all subscribing really motivates me to do more videos and I really do appreciate that um so yeah now I am moving on to my eyes. I am adding the, I forgot the name of the base, but it'll be in the description box. But I'm adding this white base so that whatever I, whatever color I put on my eyes, it will have a pop to it or it will show up better. And I'm using this Revolution palette. I forgot the name of it, but I got it from Ulta. And I think it was like $8, so it wasn't bad. I really like those three tones that I used. Um, it was really good and it blends really softly too so that's another reason why I like this palette makeup is not complete without black liner black liner is so necessary like it definitely changed the whole look for me like it gave it more definition you know I love 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 black liner like please get you some
bronzer and contour I'm using the black radiance um, complexion palette and I really didn't realize how affordable most of the products that I'm using on my face but everything has been pretty much affordable down to the eyeshadow the foundation and the contour palette I love it Also a black radiance blush um, I can't remember the shade but like I said everything will be in the description box um, but yeah this is a really pretty color it kind of goes with the eyeshadow and I really do love that so now I'm about to start dusting away that powder that I left up under my eyes and I'm gonna dust it off with this um, morphe filtering powder in the shade 10 my nose I'm using gold deposit by Mac and I'm gonna put that in between my eyes and then on the tip of my nose and that's gonna be like the only area that I highlight I don't even add highlighter to my cheeks anymore I don't need it I that's definitely something that I've grown out of and I love my face without it to be honest lashes are by main trap collection um these are in the style barbie i love 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 these lashes they're so pretty and fluffy on my eyes out that my background changed because I ended up switching my phone um, before I was using my 8 plus to record and now I am using my 11 to record so now like the backgrounds change I don't know how that happened but anyways so for my lips I am using the Kylie Jenner eyeliner pencil in the shade dark brown y'all I know it is an eyeliner pencil but you can use eyeliner pencils for pretty much anything um, I am using it to line my lips, especially because this dark brown is a true dark brown. Like, look at that liner. It looks so good. It's super creamy and super rich, so I love it. It was $15, but I love it. It's definitely worth it. I'm not going to lie. And I topped off my lips with um, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Butterscotch. So now I'm using that Morphe powder that I was telling y'all about. This is going to be the lighter shade. Um, this is the shade Filter 7. So when I apply this 
under my eyes. I'm not tapping it all the way in. I'm letting it sit up under my eyes just a little bit. So I'm only like tapping it in certain areas a few times, you know? So, um, I don't know if you can see, but look how it brightened up under my eyes and it made under my eyes look super even. Like it looks really, really good. Y'all have to get this powder. Whenever my makeup is looking this good, I have to add a mold to complete the look. Like, look what that mold did. It Alright y'all, so I am done with my makeup. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please let me know how you like it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.